Leos, welcome to your weekly Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for September 26th to the 2nd of October 2016. I'm Athen, and this is for Sidereal Astrology. If you are new to the channel, be sure to check out the link down below because the signs are different. All right, so Leo, this week we have a new moon taking place, and this is going to be in your second house. This is the house of both your inner and your outer resources. So fundamentally, new beginnings with your sense of self-worth your self-reliance in many ways, you know, tightening up those bootstraps and cultivating those things that you value in life. And so uh, with that, it can mean new beginnings financially for some of you uh, with your assets. And again, most fundamentally with your self-reliance and perhaps understanding more about what you value in life and how to cultivate those things that you value. So this has already been a very positive area because you've had Jupiter uh, transiting the second house over the past month, roughly. Jupiter will be here for about the next uh, year, year and a half. So lots of good energy here. This is uh, possibilities and potentials. <clears throat> you know, Jupiter helps us see things we would otherwise not see. Um, and that's why we get a bit of luck wherever Jupiter is, because we're open-minded about it. We can see those possibilities. So I think especially with this new moon, because it will be conjoining Jupiter uh, and the sun will be going over Jupiter at the beginning of the week. Uh, there's a lot of this uh, insight or perhaps seeing the potentials and possibilities and a bit of luck. And again, maybe some new beginnings that could be quite positive um, in the future. You know, it does take time for these energies to work themselves out, but certainly some uh, some future possibilities here with that. So the new moon will be on Friday. And so um, all week, though, the sun will be very close to Jupiter here. As we approach that new moon, we will be in the balsamic phase. So it will be a good week to sort of meditate on things, uh, sort of pause with things for a moment. Your ruler uh, or the ruler of that second house has recently gone direct. So things are still building momentum uh, regarding all of these values. So give it time. But I think all in all, uh, reflection can be very good and uh, meditation uh, as we approach that new moon. <clears throat> then as we go into next week, of course, that energy does start to move forward even more, especially as Mercury gets out of his shadow period. All right. So that's the strong emphasis there on that second house. I do also want to mention that Pluto is going direct on Monday. So there is this shift and shift has to do with your self-expression. Over the past roughly six months, uh, there's been this internalization, this reworking of your self-expression, transforming, uh, letting go of any limiting belief systems to that self-expression. But now a lot of that is starting to move forward for you with Pluto. Um, I do want to also mention that Mars has recently gone into your fifth, <clears throat> excuse me. So you could be quite direct with your self-expression and quite intent on um, you know doing the things you enjoy in life and pursuing the things that are close to your heart you know both the second and the fifth house are both houses of desires whereas the second house is material the fifth is what you're passionate about what you enjoy what gives you that self-expression so good motivation there for that but especially with mars and pluto uh, which are both about transformation i think it's good to see if there's any old patterns you can release yourself from you know to have more balance and harmony uh, with your self-expression. In other words, to see if there's anything holding you back with that that might be limiting or imbalanced. And then putting positive energy towards that can be a very good motivating factor, whether it's creative for some of you, hobbies, interests, etc. All right, so that's the uh, forward moving energy. And then again, uh, that new moon will be on Friday with new beginnings with that self-reliance. Mercury does shift into Virgo over the weekend, in fact. <clears throat> where he's in good placement uh, there in dignity and dignity and exaltation in Virgo. So, uh, yeah, some good, probably intellectual understanding and being able to reason and understand, maybe um, making a budget, you know, thinking about things on the financial level can be very positive. Uh, but you'll likely just generally find that you're thinking more about this stuff going into next week. All right. So uh, so that's the weekend. Also over the weekend, I want to mention uh, Venus will be training up to Neptune. And this is, again, influencing that second house because that's where Venus is. So there's some enjoyment to be had maybe with the simple life over the weekend. Could be easy going maybe with relationships, which there has been a lot of old patterns being released with that too, um, which was the South Node um, recently shifting into here this year. But uh, Neptune can make it perhaps easy going uh, with a trine up to Venus like that. Maybe easy going around the career front. And maybe also with your communication since Venus does roll both your third and your tenth. 
I want to also mention too that Mercury will be opposing up to Chiron over the weekend. So if you are feeling any wounds or doubts about your ability to pursue and cultivate your values in life, um, know that they're internal wounds. And I think a willingness to heal uh, can be very rejuvenating. But do know that they're internal. They're not so much an external thing. In other words, uh, you know, it's not a reflection of the objective reality as much as it's just a subjective uh, healing that can certainly take place and can certainly rejuvenate you if you are willing to do that. All right, Leo, so that's the week in a nutshell. Essentially, the strongest energy is this new moon with Mercury shifting into that second house, very close to Jupiter, perhaps seeing potentials, opportunities there with uh, your values in life and cultivating those inner resources to pursue those values. And especially as we go into next week, Mercury will be gaining that momentum and will be in the later phase of that new moon, which could mean things moving forward for you in that department. All right, Leo, so have a fantastic week. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next week.